Contestant James Holzhauer has broken his silence on his recent Jeopardy loss to librarian Emma Betcher, just hours before his final appearance on Jeopardy aired on Monday, June 3, 2019. The mathematician and professional sports better took to social media to confirm reports of the defeat, while jokingly placing the blame on an unsuspecting source, the so-called Drake curse. Writing on Twitter, Holzhauer joked, "Knew I shouldn't have invited Drake to the Jeopardy taping." For those who don't know, the world-famous rapper has gained a reputation among athletes and sports fans alike for supposedly jinxing anything or anyone he supports. The Guardian wrote, If Drake wears a jersey, poses for a photo with an athlete, or in any way appears to be supporting any particular team or person, that team or person will go on to lose, often against the odds. Whether or not you believe in the Drake curse, most would probably agree that Holzhauer's impressive and record-breaking 32-game reign on Jeopardy was nothing to sneeze at. For months, viewers watched with rapt attention to see if the Las Vegas resident would best computer scientist Ken Jennings' cash winnings record of $2,520,700, including Jennings himself, who set the record over the course of 74 games in 2004. For 15 years, I have thought somebody was going to make a run at this record. What I did not expect is that somebody could make a run at the cash record in like a third the time. However, Holzhauer surprised the world yet again when he ultimately failed to break Jennings' record in his 33rd Jeopardy! appearance this week, coming up $58,484 short after a final Jeopardy! that saw both Holzhauer and Betcher, 27, answer the last question correctly. Even host Alex Trebek was left nearly speechless. What a game! Oh my gosh! We're gonna say goodbye to James, too. We'll be seeing him again, folks. Take care. So long. Still, Holzhauer finished his run with $2,464,216. So, we'd say he did pretty okay for himself. And clearly, there were no hard feelings. After losing, Holzhauer graciously gave Betcher a congratulatory high five and later told the New York Times, Nobody likes to lose, but I'm very proud of how I did and I really exceeded my own expectations for the show, so I don't feel bad about it. He later tweeted, Congratulations to Emma on a world-beating performance. There's no greater honor than knowing an opponent had to play a perfect game to defeat me." In addition to thanking his fans for their support, Holzhauer also shared a message for Jennings himself, adding, "...to Ken Jennings, you win this round, but if Jeopardy ever gives me 43 second chance games, look out." As for what's next for James Holzhauer, it sounds like he's ready to return home and get back into the gambling game, telling the Action Network, "...the public might not have known my name two months ago, but all the sportsbook managers in Vegas were already familiar with me. I hope I can still get my bets down." As noted by the New York Times, his triumphant run was actually six years in the making, which included learning as much trivia as possible, practicing with a homemade buzzer, repeatedly taking the show's online tryout test, and going on two in-person auditions before landing the coveted gig. By then, he naturally had a game plan in mind for the competition, telling The Atlantic in April, "...I sketched out what I believed to be my optimal strategy for Jeopardy! Play fast, build a stack, bet big, and hope for the best." However, Holzhauer will also be spending some well-deserved downtime with his loved ones, as he tweeted out over the weekend. "...My kid cried about the possibility of her dad losing, so I told her we could have a party the day after it inevitably happens. Now she cries when I win." Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.